Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our fifth video for Django e-commerce website. And in this video, we will create the front-end template in this application. So I have uh, I have shown you this uh, front-end application in my first video that uh, uh, in my every video actually that what we are going to create. So I will try to cover the layout system in Django. I will try to cover how to load the JS, how to load the uh, CSS files in Django so because the uh, because this uh, template is uh, uh, built with bootstrap 4 so we will include bootstrap 4 CSS JS files and uh, we will try to uh, create this template in Django and we will also create the base template so all these things uh, all these things we are going to do in this video so <clears throat> let's do this so what we will do first open your app open the project folder and in the main folder we will create the two folders one is templates in which we will in which uh, we will keep our all template files and another is static in this we will keep all our CSS JS and all the files okay so I will I will copy the files from my front-end application so I will go to the front-end application so here we have e-commerce and I have created this in the vendor so I will copy this all and paste in the static folder okay now while it is uh, while it is paste, it is copying in the folder let's do the let's do some settings let's create the base template okay so let's create base template so i will open the main templates and here i will create the base.html okay and in this what we will do we will op so this is my uh, this is my front end application I will open the header.php, index.php and footer.php. So I will open this in visual code and first of all I will copy the header code and paste in the, so it is copied in the folder. Now I will paste in this and in this I have created the base URL. So I don't need the base URL. I will remove this. Copy hash replace all okay now i am doing uh, uh, now what we will do here we will load the load the static function so that it will help to load the static files okay so that it will uh, tell the django that we want to load the css images js or anything if from the static folder okay so this function will uh, we are using now what we will do so let's go to the font okay now here we will load static and this will be in comma and then this will work in comma and here we will put this like in this code similarly we will do this for the bootstrap file and we will create this okay so we have created the uh, we have uh, implemented a header only now what we will do we will copy the index we will copy the data from the index i will copy the data from the index and paste into the okay so i will not paste the index file uh, i just paste the footer file in the base template i will show you that why i am not uh, copying the index file i am just copying the footer file and here we don't need to change anything okay so this is our navigation and this is our footer 
now this base template will help to create the other template in uh, we will create like we will index index html should be go here okay but we will keep the index code in index file and we will just extend this base template okay so i hope you are understanding me if you are not understanding me then please comment in the comment section i will surely help you okay so now here what we will do i will use block content and here i will use end block so this is the tag this is the template tag which help us to uh, load the data in this block content okay so i will show you that how we can do this now create the another template index dot html in this we will copy the code of index.php to index.html and here we will remove the footer and we will also remove this this file okay and we don't need the header so how this index template know that what uh, what is the header and what is the footer so here we will do extends base.html okay and here we will block content and we will end the block content here and block so we are extending the base template now whenever we load the template it will load the index and it will load the base template first then it will load the index uh, data it will load the block content data okay so this is the functionality now i will go i'm going to create uh, remove the for each uh, for loop okay so i'm here i just want to show the fields i just want to show the boxes so that i'm uh, running the loop okay so this is the index file but we have created just the template uh, now now the next step is how we can show the template in the front end in the browser so we will uh, first of all i will remove i will remove this and i will open the main template first of all let's delete this delete this folder okay uh, open the main and open the views.py file okay now in the views.py file i will create the function this is the home page i am creating this uh, django application with the uh, help of a, a function wise and you can also create the views according to the class okay so there are two there are two methods to create a view one is class another is function so i'm using the fun i'm using the function method function view template okay so now in this we will uh sorry this will be our home and this will be request and in this we will return render and this will render for the first is request and the another is our template name okay now here now our template is running but it is showing that default default it is showing the default welcome page so one thing is need to do we will create the url store py file okay so we will create the urls.py file in this we will d from django dot urls import path okay so this path will be help to define the path so this will be url patterns and in this path the first one is url path and the second one is views function that it is in this part but we but we want to run and from dot import views Okay, so this will be views dot home and the another is name so that we can use the url uh, template tag to uh, go to uh, url template tag to create the link okay so we will see that how we can do this so the name is used in the url template tag okay 
so now we are, we have to register this app url into the project you uh, project setting file project url file so we will open the project level urls file and here we we will include include and here i will remove this because i want to load the i want to load the home page at the root i want to load the all functionality all things from the main urls from the root okay so here this is my app name and this is my urls name okay so now let's go to the browser and refresh this page so here you can see we have a uh, loaded things but the images images are not coming so we need to set up the images so we will go to this go to the our template folder and here i have uh, images so i will copy the images and i'll paste it here i'll create the okay so i'll create the media files here in the in the application okay so i'll go to the like i'll go to the questions okay sorry uh, i'm in the system file actually our metal shop so this will be our media folder will be out of the application it will be it will be at the root okay so media is at the root and one thing more we need to set up we need to set up the media constant so these two things the first one is media url and the second one is media root okay so in django 3 version we need to import the os okay in django 2 it is already uh, importing but uh, in in django uh, version 3 we need to import the os okay so please remember this one small thing okay so we have set up the media file now what we will do so we'll copy the images and paste in the folder now let's go to the index file and after extending the template we will load static okay so whenever we want to use the static then we need to load the static helper and here we will use what we will static and this will be our media and images one dot jpg okay and here we will use this now we have a now we have a detail and also we need to show this for banner also we need to do this for banner so i will copy this uh, i will copy this okay and paste it here maybe this is boring but we have to pass this uh, we need to go this way okay so so that i'm doing this now we have settled this refresh this page and i will go to the so it is static media okay okay one thing more we need to set up actually we need to define this kind of because our media folder is out of the directory out of our application at the root so that we need to define this kind of thing refresh this page so it is saying that static media okay let's uh, oh okay we don't need this static because we are not saving this uh, we are not saving this folder in the uh, static we are not saving the media folder in the static so we need to remove this uh, 
browsing series browsing image this icon media let's remove this okay i will change this method also okay let's move the media folder in the static So we will do this way. Now refresh this page. So I have uh, loaded the images. Actually, I have, we are a bit uh, confused in this media uh, media bar. So that I'm uh, okay. So we will sort it out. Oh, no problem. We will sort it out. So now our image is coming. Our product is coming, and we have settled our js and css file so we will do all the things we have settled our layout so here you can here we have learned that how we can create the base template how we have how we can load the static files how we can load the js images and all the things okay in the next section in the next video we will fetch the uh, categories data we will fetch the categories data we will fetch the brands data in the in the in we will create the categories and brand brand space actually okay so i hope you have liked this video you will like this video and if you have not subscribed the channel then please subscribe and uh, uh, share this video also so if you have any query on a, any improvement or any suggestion uh, then please add in the comment section okay so thank you thank you so much